I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agut. We marched or we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. 
When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fable to find a Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against him, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. your blade to swing the torch to the other side. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happened. 